Mihai's second sortie was designed to calculate how his physiology changed under the stress of combat. My job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand how his skills evolved. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore. For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were as sharp as they ever were. Still, after all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. For Mihai's second sortie, we used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff, but by the time he landed back at the base, he was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. Mission. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, it wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. A new flight suit was made to my exact specifications. When it finally arrived, Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. They blamed me for the pain their grandfather had to keep enduring. But Mihai remained stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I wasn't worried about it. I was confident the new suit would protect him thoroughly so that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. Of course, Mihai's kingdom was the sky. Operation to capture Arusha's capital, Farbandi, is beginning. This is the culmination of our work. We need to capture the Arusian forces' general headquarters in the south of Farbandi and end this war. The plan is for ground troops to attack Farbandi from both the east and north, and a task fleet will attack from the southwest. We will secure air superiority over the capital while providing air support for our allies on the ground and in the water as required. By all accounts, we expect this to be an intense, full-scale battle across land, sea, and air. Should you need to replenish your ammunition or make necessary repairs to your craft, a return line has been set up in the north. During this operation, we will also be tasked with having to destroy the communication satellites that Neruja hacked. If we take down the information communication system, we believe they have control over it should plunge Arusha into chaos. Once the capital falls, the Arusian military will be isolated and thrown into chaos, making it easier for us to end the war. However, that can't happen until after the capital falls, so you guys are the stars of this battle. Arusha will fight like a tiger, but we cannot lose. We must seize the capital and end this war.
Strider Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. Our troops have engaged at Fabati Reconstruction Park, Silver Bridge, and the submerged area. We need you to help our boys in those three locations. This will end the war. It's time. Commence the operation. Our friends are waiting. Lately, as your company commander, I felt some of you young bucks coming after my championship belt. You're really putting the pressure on me. So I think I'm gonna go out there and run up the score a little bit. Just to show you guys how it's done. I trust I can count on all of you to keep up. Let's get out there, take care of business, and come back in one piece. Strider 1, enemy behind you. Strider 1, the turn line is to the north. Head that way if you need to refuel. Good luck, everyone. The count is back in the saddle of Cyclops 2. It's good to be flying with you again, partner. Ah, it's real funny. Thank you. Enemy on your tail. Enemy missile coming at me! Missile hit! Get your pal! Break! He dodged it! Friendly confirmed lost! Missile tracking me! Right or what? Trigger. The submerged area is all yours. 
We'll deal with the other threat. Let's go. Ocean. Roger. Watch it. Enemy has a lock on you. Missile hit. Bombs away. Missile, evade! Yeah, that's too. 
Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear.
have the upper hand. The enemy headquarters is almost ours. Operation to eliminate all enemy satellites also underway. All going according to plan. The end of the war is in sight. Think of something you'd like to eat, guys, because I'm buying. Roger that. Man, don't jinx us. Ah, uh, you're right. Two bogeys. No, five SU-30s inbound. It's Mr. Rex. escort. We need to be extra careful if we want to split up the two meters. Eject, while you can still talk. Missile inbound! Evade! Enemy has a lock on me. This is Cyclops 3. I've been hit. I gotta eject. Cyclops 3 has bailed out safe. Launched. Don't worry. He's gonna make it. Listen, Trigger. Real talk. If we keep this up, someone's not going home. I'll act as a lure. Meanwhile, you shoot down Mr. Rex. What? Target is hit. 
in control. The operation was a success. We didn't get the orders that should have come after the operational success. We'll guide you to the scheduled airport. All aircraft, leave this airspace immediately. Negative. They've got a debt to pay. Count, we all feel the same way. Shit! So Wiseman died for nothing. This is a peacekeeping force forward base near Erusian territory. Other Allied aircraft have probably been forced to make emergency landings at other airfields. We don't know much. The mission to capture the capital is nearly complete, but we unfortunately have no intel. The enemy communication satellites are down, and we have confirmed the deaths of several Erusian leaders. But our enemy was smart. They had a similar plan. Our own communication systems were destroyed at approximately the same time. We have no idea when or if they'll come back online. Stand by for further details.